guys, Sherry here from No Flexing Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a feminine reading for November the 11th until the 18th. Special reading today as it is 11-11. And it's past 11, so I can't say I made this at 11 o'clock like I did the other two readings. All right, so um, I think I will do a crystal ball since that's what I did for the mask on. Okay, so five by five grid, distant past, recent past, present, near future, and final outcome. There are four cornerstone cards, which represents the main energy of the reading, and then one center card, which is the main message from the universe. All right, let's begin. First cornerstone card, past position, distant past. So the three of wands is a thumbs up from the universe. So you feel like you're making gains in terms of your spiritual growth and you're being encouraged by the universe to keep going. Um, so let's, this is also forming partnerships, reaching out. The High Priestess, whoa, cards are really jumpy today. Okay, so the High Priestess um, was going to be showing up in your near future for the Twin Flame reading. So there's um, real sense of the feminine going within, listening to her intuition, not allowing the external world to cause her chaos or, you know, there's a desire here also to discover truth. You know, there's that unknown that she wants answers to, and that was a theme also in the Twin Flame reading. Wow, the Sun card. So the most positive card in the deck, Major Arcana, number one, new beginnings. So this is all the positive emotions you can imagine um, in a return to an innocent state. So there's this sense of illumination that was discovered as a result of going within. Um, your, the feminine is you know, finding her own power within and shining her light bright. Three of Swords, heartbreak, pain, loss. So, um, the feminine is dealing with a wounded heart. So let me just pull one card from my little mini deck here. Spirit, what do you mean by the Three of Swords, please? We got two threes there. Yes. Well, it doesn't say much. <laughs> um, it's kind of interesting because the sun also means yes. Yes, yes. One more card, please. Let go of them. Okay, so the feminine has been surrendering. You know, her heart is breaking. Um, there's a great deal of pain and separation, but... She is overcoming that, you know, um, just taking it one day at a time, I guess. All right, so final cornerstone card in the distant past is solar plexus chakra. There you go again, further confirmation, this sense of disempowered, um, it takes a lot of courage and strength to let go of something and you know turn that love to yourself to self-love okay so the recent past position temperance cool synchronicity i saw this as the feminine in the twin flame reading this car showed up in the past position on the masculine side so this is a feminine being in the now, patiently, not necessarily waiting, but trying to find balance within herself, but being in the now, being in this moment. Again, trying not to allow the external forces to, to control her. So the Queen of Swords is next. So this is air energy. This is a disconnect from emotions. Very cold 
very icy queen who speaks her truth. Her words could be cutting. So this could be a karmic energy um, or what I feel is a feminine almost just completely disconnecting from her emotions on some level and turning her her attention to the 3D reality. So the Page of Pentacles could represent communication in 3D, but this is planning for the, a long-term goal. Cool synchronicity in that the Ten of Pentacles showed up in the feminine's past position. So she had this vision, this idea of a long-term goal. And so here we see her putting work forth an effort into manifesting that. Four of Cups. So this is disconnect, boredom, stagnation, feeling like things aren't moving. So somebody not accepting an offer, a love offer. So the feminine was struggling with this energy in the recent past, trying to disconnect from her thoughts, trying to disconnect from her heart, throwing herself into work, trying to find, you know, silence, stillness. So the feminine has had to let go of this energy. Heart chakra. Cool. Now we got two chakras in a row here. Um, so the feminine was able to heal herself. Right. This is unconditional love. This is, you know, having that heart chakra wide open, receiving love, giving love. Um, so what I feel here is regardless of the pain that she's been feeling, she is making great strides in terms of healing herself, but there is still that void within her. So the present position, justice, there was a cool synchronicity that happened with this card as a final outcome. Uh, there was male justice and feminine justice. So. The feminine is seeking justice. She feels like she's been wronged. Naked energy here again. So that means there's no, nothing hidden. There's, you know, she's standing there in truth. Okay, and here again, vulnerability, a naked angel. So this card talks about cause and effect, which you send out into the universe, you get back. And usually when this card shows up, it means that justice will be served. The Queen of Swords is also somebody who speaks truthfully and she fights for justice. Oops. Knight of Pentacles, movement forward. So the, um, the page is a planning stage and here is action. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is movement forward towards that long-term goal, the feminine feels very stable, grounded, confident that she's going to reach her goal. This knight always does. So this has to do with the 3D realm. There's a sense of groundedness and commitment to the goal. So this next card is the main message from the universe, Surrender Hangman. See things from a different perspective, um, letting go of control. So, the universe is asking the feminine to continue to work on shifting that perspective. Um, let go of the past. It's out of your control. Keep working towards the future. Stay hopeful and optimistic, I guess. Next is crown chakra. Very nice. Illumination. So, um... The final message from the universe and the twin flame connection was this sense of um, illumination, um, an awakening, seeking spiritual perfection. So in the present moment, you can see that seeking perfection with the justice card moving forward is seeking, you know, you, um, you're in a forward movement and the 
hangman is seeing things from a different perspective so it's a shift a change and then it leads to or you know it is in the present moment so there's a sense that there's this major awareness happening right now for the feminine um, and it has to do with that pain that she's felt coming from the past needing to let go of this heartbreak loving without conditions okay next is wow the universe card final piece of the puzzle being placed so this is the universe saying that you've come a long way in your journey okay and so there is a um, ending of a cycle that is about to happen for some twin flames so once that final piece is piece of the puzzle is placed and the new journey begins, a new fool's journey. But this is acknowledgement for your accomplishments so far. So very strong connection to the universe in the present moment. A shift in consciousness from the 3D reality to higher higher state is definitely happening for the feminine. So the near future is the nine of pentacles nice so this is your payoff this is harvest you've arrived um the ten of pentacles is a completion but this this is uh an arrival feeling like you've arrived you you've reached your goals and uh, so this is a card of self-love splurging a little on yourself you know, go on a vacation if you want to. Um, get a massage. You know, take a walk on a beach. Um, so this is ripeness, readiness. And I love the fact that it's come below the justice card. Right? It's, you've put a lot of work and effort into manifesting this Nine of Pentacles. And it is just. You know, it, um... It is a gift from the universe. All right, next. The King of Wands. So again, the King and Queen of Wands were very prominent in this week's reading. So the King of Wands, fire, passion, creativity. The King is somebody who is unchained, um, a spiritual leader. So, you know, there could be manifestation of this masculine energy into your near future position. You know, we have this knight and then a king, right? So a sense of completion here. Eight of swords. Self-imposed prison of the mind. So again, I feel this is a release, a surrender, especially with it being below the hermit. You're let out of that prison. There's a battle with the mind and the heart and strength and so yeah I definitely feel this is a release out of that prison especially right beside the king of wands because the king is a free spirit they would never be held back the devil Ooh. So the devil may rear its ugly head in the near future for the feminine, and it comes from the past, okay, from the Four of Cups here, from the Three of Swords, letting go. So the devil is the ego, a chain, um, codependent relationship and addiction, self-limiting beliefs. I'm actually quite surprised to see these two cards. I'm, I'm going to pull the final card for this row and then I may pull, uh, pull some clarifiers. King of Pentacles. Interesting. So the Queen of Pentacles turned up in the near future for the masculine. So we've got two kings in this row. Uh, and it is a reading for the feminine energy. So the King of Pentacles is Earth, 3D reality on one side we have feminine being represented as accomplished grounded successful 
and the king represents a similar energy except for he would be like a boss or um, he's the pinnacle of achievement and so this could be the masculine in the 3D coming to you in the 3D now why do you feel triggered <laughs> let's find out you know it's the past coming back to haunt the feminine oh okay so something just blew out so I'm going to put it back in I didn't look at it okay what do you mean by the eight of swords spirit please Peace is yours. Okay. And what do you mean by the devil? Memories and remembering good times. Okay, so memories right away. Looking back to the past, feeling that disconnect, that heartache, that pain. So the ego could come up to bite you in the butt. But peace is yours. You can release yourself from that mental prison. So there may be contact with the masculine in the near future in the 3D reality. Because we got, you know, that harvest or, you know, that sense of completion with masculine energy. But again, there's a sense that there may be a trigger. Um, now, again, a theme for the masculine was a sense that he's come to clear up any disillusions or lies that's been spoken about him um, okay so final row um, cornerstone card is seven of cups so this is knowing what you not knowing what you want not knowing how to get there um, so it's having a lot of options and the, the message is to follow your heart seven of wands so this is the energy that the feminine is bringing into the union for the twin flame reading so you know there's a sense that she is trying to find her power she lost her power in the past because of heartbreak and she's shifting in the sense that she comes into that strength that power she becomes the king of the hill she knows her core values and beliefs and expresses those we got two sevens in a row. Next is, wow, the 1111 calling card. There you go. Bam. So today is 1111. And so what I feel here is a release from that prison, that mental prison. If you're able to do that, switch perspectives. Peace is yours. And the Twin Flame Connection becomes a reality next hermit oh my god synchronicity it was the hermit who was bringing this card for the twin flame reading on the masculine side as the final outcome very cool synchronicity again something similar happened on the masculine's uh, reading as a final outcome so her the hermit is someone who is in solitude and what I feel here is him coming out of solitude, being wise and knowledgeable. You know, don't give up, even though things are confusing. Um, there's a sense that the final piece is about to be placed. Seven of Pentacles. The feminine had this in her past position, waiting. Very cool that we have the hermit moving towards her. This theme also um, reoccurred in the masculine reading. So gestation period, pregnant pause, waiting for that fruition, that manifestation, waiting for the tide to turn. And yeah, I, there's that arrival. Incredible. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Miss and Mermaid. So this will be the final message from the universe. Final messages do you have for the feminine? This one, La Serena. So this is very similar energy to the devil in that there's a transformation, but there's also an emphasis on memories. Okay, so 
this, I think this card is going to be referring to this line of cards associated with the Ace of Swords as, as well. So number 36. Remember those who've come and passed, loves that lingered but couldn't last, questions raised but never asked, lulls the enchanting mermaid song. Remember joys from long ago, friends you now no longer know, dreams you had no time to sow, her words are tempting but ring wrong. A captivating mermaid preparing for a de la de Moreto or whatever, um, Day of the Dead is decked out, I can never say that right, I should actually probably look it up on the internet. Anyway, um, is decked out with tiny skulls and flowers. She is seductive and enchanting, singing a song that is alluring but dangerous. So do not get dizzy with the songs of the mermaid. So remember to honor loved ones and your past, but do not get swallowed up in memories. Do not forget to live in the present and plan for the future, or you will be doomed to live in the shadow of others. Bear in mind that the past shines brighter in your memories than reality ever could. Do not be deceived into falsely remembering what has come before. The saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, applies to time as well as space. Remain grounded in the present, not mirrored in the past or intoxicated with what could have been. A life lived fully in the present with a healthy reverence from the past and an optimistic eye on the future is of the best balance. Do not let the mermaid of remember, remembrance beguile you. And today is Remembrance Day. Canadian. Um, so, yeah, there is a real strong sense that the past is playing on the feminine's mind and it could come back to you and haunt you. you know? So, clear that energy. Um, if you're able to get past that blockage, it opens up this twin flame connection. All right, so I hope this helped. I love you, ladies. Um, if you've ordered a reading, um, I'm definitely getting to those. I had to work on my my table and let it dry, so I haven't been able to do readings for the past two days, but I will be getting to those. And, yes, thank you for your love and support. Please leave a, a comment, and uh, don't forget to hit the sub button. All right, cheers.